What's up guys? We got a 2012 Honda Accord being called out here because of a no start, no crank. So just got here, opened up the hood, I hooked up my uh, battery tester there because this looks really nasty. The battery terminals looks really like sketchy there. So we're going to do a battery test using this tool and this is a uh, 550 regular battery cold cranking amps 550 we're going to do 540 that's good enough let's test it out see what's going on good battery I'm shocked I am really shocked all right, well, <laughs> next step, let's do a starting test. So we're going to go to start test. Turn off all vehicle loads. Make sure the ignition is on. All right, let's go do that. Yeah. What do you want us to do? Press OK to continue. Start the engine. I'll well, try to start the engine because I suppose that it's a uh, no crack, no start. Yep, confirmed. Definitely can hear the starting start the solenoid engaging. I can hear the click. Um, so that's definitely not happening. I guess this test only works when the engine starts. Uh, all right, so we can go high tech and hook up the lab scope and look at the uh, uh, the voltage drop as we're trying to crank the car. But honestly, knowing this type of cars and the issue with the starter, at some point it'll fail. So. I'm not going to waste so much time with that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to get a battery because another thing is you can't really do a, a voltage drop on the uh, power. I mean on the uh, B plus cable because you know uh, you got to take the intake off to do that. So either way we got to get approval from the customer before we can begin to do all of this testing uh, beyond just surface level testing right now. So. Let's put this back here. I'm gonna get, I know the battery says it's good, but I'm still gonna try to give it a, some more juice and let's see if it'll help before we call the starter and spend a few hundred dollars on our repair. So I got the Gulu, my trusty jump starter there. I'm trying to jump start this thing and see what happens all right so okay all right okie doke and uh, there you go jump start ready let's go trying to jump start it one more time on, let's go. I'm gonna start it one more time. Off, on, same deal. Yeah, I can hear the starter going click. All right, well, that's about it for me. Uh, every, anything else we, I gotta do requires you know, authorization. When you're doing the uh, mobile mechanic job and you're dealing with informal customers, you gotta be careful and protect yourself because sometimes customer not ready to do a repair and you might waste your time and not get paid at all trust me and really it's not worth the hassle of trying to pursue <laughs> anybody in the court of law it's more of a waste of time for you <laughs> than for them so all right let's call the customer and uh it looks like we're gonna have a starter job here all right guys so after a little bit of work we got to the uh, starter right there in the middle of your screen here i actually have a video on my channel 
you know, I did a long time ago about this job. But anyway, so I got my test light to ground and on a signal wire, as you can see. We're gonna just go now and uh, we'll cut this light off. And we're gonna try to start the car and see if we can see that test light lighting. I mean, I could hear the click, but this is just, uh, let me see. Let me see if you'll see something there, I'm not sure about. I can tell the light is on. Look at over there to the right, the reflection of the light, look. Right there. Again, right there. So, 100% we're getting power on that wire. And our starter is definitely no bueno. All right, let me continue. All right, so things is back together here. Just gonna go ahead and try to give it a whirl and see what's going on. Moment of truth. And yes, we are in business. Now let's let it charge up a little bit. Well, it doesn't need it, the battery's good. So, quick diagnosis, not a bad job, it took me less than an hour, maybe about 40 minutes, and that's about it, let me hurry up because I got to bring in the core before 8 o'clock, it's 7.40.